Hey everybody, it's Friday. I have the vlog uploading and I'm just packaging up an order. This one's going to America, so there's going to be a bunch of freebies in it. Um, they've ordered a little my little carousel sticker, which I desperately need to restock. I have like one left. <laughs> this cute little um, scrunchie. One of my favourite ones again. It's so floppy. Um, yep, yeah, and they bought the, uh, the sketchbook with the unicorn. Oh, I'm so happy it's going to a good home. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they bought that and then I've got a bunch of prints. Um, I don't usually put in this many prints even if it goes to America but these were the last one, well, these three were the last ones left in their size so I thought well it's a good opportunity to not get rid of them but yeah get rid of them. But yeah these three were the last left, last ones in their size, so like the big A5 size and the little 6x4, so I thought I'd pop them in um, while while I'm popping in freebies. And it's origi and an original that she's buying, so I thought I'd pop in a few extra anyway. But um, And then I've also popped in these three little prints, so yeah, it's a big, well, it was already a big order <laughs> in my eyes, um, but I just thought I'd pop in some extras while she's bought an original and it's going overseas, so yeah <laughs> I love this fabric one day I will make a skirt with this fabric that's what I bought the fabric for but yeah I'm gonna pack this up and it's a uh, good Friday today so post offices aren't open again um, post offices aren't open again until Tuesday so I'm just gonna send her a note just to make sure she knows that she probably will know it's Easter weekend but just to let her know that's why it's not gonna get posted out until Tuesday which is a bit of a bummer but never mind well, here's the final piece, and it's super cute. Now I remember why I don't use this paper a lot, is my masking tape loves to rip it up. It's a good job this is pretty much getting trimmed, so ooh, I forgot about that. But other than that, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be trimming a lot of this off anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's that one done. Yeah, they look so good in their frames. They look like um, a set, so, and I have one more frame, so I think I will make it into like a set of three originals. Um, I'm thinking the common thing between all three is going to be a bow. 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 <laughs> um, that's my fault. It, if I don't know what to add, a bow is usually the first thing I think of. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to use third frame to do another one and yeah I'm trying to not get that glare but if you get if you get, don't get the glare then you get me <laughs> I don't know which one's worse there we go but um yeah looking pretty cool Hey everybody, it's Easter Sunday and I'm spending my morning just packaging up a couple of orders. Um, like I said, somebody bought the sketchbook but I needed bigger envelopes. So I'm just going to pack that up quickly. And then somebody bought this little frame, well this painting, this little frame. Um, this painting, so I'm going to package that up and then I'm going to empty the suitcase. Um, and then that's going to be me for today because it's Easter Sunday. I don't want to. I'm going to take a bit of time off. <laughs> but yeah, I got really excited when um, this order came through, so I'm just going to pack it up dead quick so that it's ready to post out on Tuesday because it's um, a bank holiday here, so the post office isn't open tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm. I really want to package it well because the box that I have is slightly too big. Um, so I'm just paranoid about it getting broken so I'm gonna spend my time on it and just make sure it's nice and packaged nicely <laughs> but yeah I'm also watching Stargate because that's my version of a holiday <laughs> well I think these are the biggest packages I've sent out so far but I'm so happy I get to use my fragile stickers 
I don't know why I bought them. I never sell anything that's fragile. I mean, herbos and prints, they're not fragile. But I finally get to use it for this, because it's um, that glass frame. So, And the box actually worked out really well. It's not as big compared to the frame as I thought it was going to be, so that's good. And it's got lots of bubble wrap and a bajillion fragile stickers. And then there's this one, which is nice. I just like packaging. I'm sorry, I love packaging. <laughs> Covered up their addresses. So, yeah, these will go out on Tuesday. Hey everybody, it's Monday, and I'm getting to work on Patreon rewards. Um, I decided to do, like, an Easter bunny themed. It's a little chibi girl dressed up as an Easter bunny. Um, because I'm not ready for Easter to be over yet. I'm not ready for Easter to be over yet. It's back to work tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, this is the rough sketch. I'm going to clean it up a bit and then trace it twice like I usually do and yeah I'm liking how it's turning out so far I'm gonna have like loads of eggs on the floor and for a change I used this pen uh, the Mitsubishi, what's it called? Uniball I Micro um, I used to use these pens a lot a few years ago and I've just had them kind of sitting in my pen jar and I've never used, used them in well I haven't used them in quite a while um, I was just going to do my normal brush and ink for lining but I thought because it's quite a small picture I wanted to use a pen and I just decided to pick this one up again and it's it's okay um, like if you use it quite quick it does the line does break a bit but it's it's not too bad um, I'm gonna go over a couple of areas again in a minute and I'm gonna erase the lines and then that'll be the line art done and then I'm gonna move on to the coloring uh, yeah it's super cute I really like drawing grass like this you know like um, it always reminds me of how it was drawn in the Pokemon anime um, I think that's where I got it from but yeah I really like drawing grass like this ooh I love this drawing it Everybody, it's Tuesday and um, I got some really cool awesome things in the post today and I'll explain um, you've probably heard of her she's called she's an artist called blue fate I'll leave her Instagram and things down below but yeah she um she did a live stream a while ago and she was doing like giveaways and things to raise money for I think um, it was a new printer um, but yeah, I was watching the live stream while I was working and it was really fun and she was really chatty and like I met her in person a couple of times and she's really lovely. Um, and I won one of the giveaways and I was so happy. <laughs> it's like I never win anything. But um, yeah, the, they came in a tube and so I'm going to have to like unroll them. But they are so pretty. There's this one which is sparkly and this one which... This is my favourite, which is also sparkly. 
and then this one and then there's three A3 prints so there's a big one of the ghost Pokemon which I love I was actually gonna buy this print for myself I'm super chuffed I won it and then there's this one which is I, I think this is my all-time favorite piece of her artwork I love it I just think it's beautiful and then there's this one so yeah I'm just gonna have to um, flatten them out a bit so but yeah I love all of her artwork and she's super lovely. I'm super happy that her stream was a success and that she got loads of commissions and it was a really fun stream and I'm so happy that I won something. I mean, I, I enter giveaways and stuff, but I never seem to win anything. <laughs> so it was one of those, I was like, yeah, I'll type in the command. And and I was like, I think I was doing my evolution painting at the time. And then she said, oh, Shona Mary Owens won. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, let's uh, flatten these out. So it's still Tuesday, and I've just got back from the post office, and first time ever I've had to bring a package back with me <laughs> because I have grossly undercharged for postage for international small parcels um, I've managed to send off the one who I knew was going to be a day late just because of Easter so she's sent off that's fine um, but the framed uh, watercolor painting is gonna have to go out tomorrow because I didn't take enough money with me <laughs> um, basically for international standard postage not tracked and signed for just standard for a small parcel is £8.50 I charged £4.50 because I've never had to pay more than that for sending an international parcel and yeah well an international order I've never had to pay more than that so I've never charged more than that so I've updated all my prices on Etsy for international shipping which makes me feel even worse because I hated how much I had to charge in the first place so now it's even worse £8.50 just for standard so I couldn't do tracking because I didn't have enough money on me and I'm still waiting on the Etsy money to go into my bank which is ridiculous it's ridiculous how long it takes and it's even more ridiculous how long it takes on a bank holiday so yeah but hopefully this one will get sent out tomorrow so the Etsy money should be through but yeah. Ugh. If you have an Etsy shop, you understand the pain about waiting for your payments to actually come through. It's all it's all changed now. It's all annoying and brilliantly annoying. But um it's this painting, it just doesn't want to leave. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna message this lovely lady. Ooh, Laura. I'm just gonna send her a quick email saying it was supposed to go out today, but it's gonna have to go out tomorrow instead. But, um, yeah, it's super annoying. £8.50 for a small parcel, and they're not even heavy. It's mostly bubble wrap. <laughs> it's a sketchbook, the other one. And this is, like, mostly bubble wrap. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, it's just so annoying how expensive it is to post things out. But, yeah. Anyway, I also have um, editing to do. And flattening to do. <laughs> I well, yesterday I forgot to show what the finished Patreon pieces look like. So this was the final sketch. I think I showed this, and this was my line art, and then this was is the finished color. Um, it's not showing up on camera, I don't think, but I've done like a little pastel blue outline. I'm super happy with it, and I'm and I'm like resisting the urge to work on it more because I wanted to keep it simple, like a nice simple Easter bunny chibi girl thing <laughs> but yeah that's also my job for today is to scan these in and get the patreon packages ready to send off and I also need to do the uh, giveaway prize draw which I think I might film actually I, I try to use like um I only have two patrons so it's it's a bit hard to try and make it fair <laughs> like every month like without doing like alternate people winning but um I try and use different raffle name generators online so I think I'll film that when I get around to doing it so yeah okay so I'm trying a new 
name picker. It's a primary school. What does it say? Primary school. L I C T. Primary technology. I think it's just for like classroom stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, random name selector and I put in the names of my two patrons and I'll just click go. I think this is all you do. Ooh, I like that. Joey! <laughs> That's cool. I quite like that one. I think I'll use that one again because usually it just kind of like pops up a name and I don't like that because I don't know if it's actually done anything. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I'm picky about my name pickers, okay? But yeah, I like this. I think I'll save this website. That was cool. So yeah, Joey's the winner. Is it, I'm not sure if it's Joe or Joey. Um, I just usually say Joe. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to pop onto Patreon and make a little post about it. So here's the post for the announcing the raffle winner. And yeah, I with my Patreon posts, I... I realise I haven't posted since the 15th of last month, oops, um, but yeah with my Patreon post I try to make it a nice chunky post um, just because it feels more like they should be blog posts rather than just like little things I would post on Twitter, um, but yeah the announcement's up and I've also um, put in a little thing about something I want to do with the community tab. Uh, I mentioned it to Emma when I met her at the um, the crapper a couple of weeks ago and she thought it would be a good idea so I thought we'll try it out. While there's only two patrons I thought why not try it out now while it's quite small just to see how it goes. Um, what I'm going to do is the community tab in Patreon is where like your patrons can post um, like comments and things and I want to start using it as um, like where you can post like a picture of a piece or a drawing or a painting that you're working on and get feedback from everybody like including myself and other patrons um, I think it'd be a really good way of like helping everybody improve and like people can get more out of being a patron um, I think it's a good idea um, we'll see what happens if I get any more patrons and if it becomes something becomes like too overwhelming and people get too spammy with it but I don't think that will happen because like it I don't think that will happen it's not Facebook <laughs> but um yeah I want to try it out I really hope it works well um so yeah if you become a patron you can use the com uh, community tab to post work in progress pictures and get feedback and critiques and it'll all be constructive and I really want to make this a place where like artists can grow and develop with each other so yeah I want it to be more than just giving me money <laughs> because I love doing the like subscription type aspect to it and I love sending out rewards and I love doing like the exclusive artwork so I want I want it to be like a community I want yeah like I said to Emma we want to build like um, a paintbrush army <laughs> or a pro marker army something like that but I, I really want people to get more out of it than just so it's somewhere to give me money kind of thing because yeah <laughs> that's my favorite thing about patreon is like you pledge and you get rewards and it's like you build a, a community and things like that so yeah I think it'd be a good idea because like I'm not I'm not an expert on art I don't feel like I I'm a professional even though I, I it is my job <laughs> that's one of my jobs and um but like just something as simple as posting up a picture of your work and some like getting fresh eyes to look at it that can just be such a big help so yeah let's see how it works i'm super excited i hope i hope people use it <laughs> <laughs>
here's my little doodle. Um, I just thought I'd do something quick in my sketchbook. And I really like how she turned out. I like her hair. <laughs> Cotton candy hair. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday and um, I'm, I am spent most of the day working out what I actually need to do for London. And I've, I've decided I want to do another fan art piece and I was torn between doing a Hatsune Miku like, actual piece, uh, not a chibi, because I have a chibi sticker of her already, and um, a My Little Pony one. And I think I might do both because I'm still not sure. But I think this one would balance out the evolutions because it's like another group piece. Um, let me just show you. I have this little plan of what I want my display to look like, like um, the towers. So this is covered by bookmarks, um, so that's not included. And then I have the Suicune, Evolutions, then the Hermione thing, uh, print. So I'm thinking of moving Hermione into the corner and then have the My Little Pony there. So then I'll have two um, horizontal pieces and two lamp, um, portrait pieces. I just think the symmetry would be nice. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to do them both and then see which one I like. And I also have an idea for another original piece, which I really want to do because it's a mermaid and mermaid. I think it'd be quite cool. Hey everybody, it's Friday. No, no, it's not Friday. I wish it was Friday. It's Thursday, and I've just listed uh, this painting on Etsy. She's called Kathy. I decided on Kathy. Uh, she looked like a Kathy to me. So she's listed on Etsy, the original, and yeah. Patreon, everything Patreon went out today, so that's cool. It's a very productive day today. So, yeah. Yeah. I need to alter my layout so that um, Kathy and Sophia are next to each other just because I think that looks kind of cool uh, so I'll do that and I really like how my featured listings look <laughs> do you think I like space and galaxies <laughs> just in case there's any doubt it's the it's obvious I like them <laughs> but yeah I think I am going to work more on uh, this piece. I'm liking how it's turning out. I wasn't too sure at the beginning because I really did not like how I was drawing the faces, but I figured it out and yeah, I think I'm going to scan it in, print it off A4 size and then uh, work on it a bit more. So that's my plan. So I printed out this, so a little bit bigger so I can trace it now and I thought while I'm on Photoshop I'll make some price signs. So I'm going to be doing uh, some coasters and some new key rings. So I've got price signs for those. And then my, I'm calling them small prints but the the medium prints but by London I won't have any small prints left so they will be the new small print. So small prints going to be £3 or 2 for 5 And then price signs for my mum which she does her bookmarks at £2 each or 3 for 5 so yeah, and I've also got a sign for my sketchbooks because I don't think people realise that they are actually sketchbooks. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought, well I've got Photoshop open, I will print them off. Cool. This is how far I've gotten. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here for today, uh, just so I can like 
have a look at it a bit more and see if there's anything else I want to change. So, yeah, I'm super excited to start working on this, like start painting it, because I just, I love drawing ponies. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here and, um, yeah, can't think of anything else. <laughs> I'm actually not at a crapper this weekend, so yay, weekend off. But, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!